Welcome to Wild Bill's Breaks. Way back Wednesday, I uh, got a couple of blaster boxes of Topps 2020 update series that I've been holding on to for a while. And this just came right when I got home. Pack of 84 Donruss, and I figure I'll shoot for the moon. See if I can find the Mattingly in there. So we'll save that bad boy for last. Um, last video, I got the, uh, the CJ Stroud. Auto missing auto error, and I did decide to send it in the top, so I'm going to do that here after the video and uh, get the autographed version of that card. Seems like all the base cards of that went out without an auto. People are selling uh, the non auto auto. Um, on eBay for a few hundred bucks, but from what I've been seeing, Tops is good about honoring. Uh, there's a coin pack, we'll set that aside. Go ahead and do both these boxes uh, all at once. Uh, Tops has been good about honoring the missing auto card. Spoke with customer service and just go through their site and follow the process. Just going to do that here. <clears throat> just feel like uh, some redditor pointed out um, that the hype's going to die down on the missing auto card, and they're not really as uncommon as people think. Like if you sell them first out of the gate, like one of them went for seven hundred bucks, which I feel is very excessive. The next highest was about half as much, and then there's one that went for 200 And now it just seems like, you know, people are doing buy it nows for 300 400 500 and just, you know, hoping for the best here. So, we'll let them go that route. I'll, I'll go the tops, you know, beam route. Again, there are a lot of um, short prints for 2020, which is why I got it. Um, I won't be able to recognize them offhand. For the most part, there's Mike Trout. <laughs> there's another Mike Trout. That, uh, a variant per chance. One, two, three, two. I don't know. Fingers crossed. We'll update you if it is. And, uh, it's funny seeing the 89, uh, tops here when we have it in our current 2024 tops that just came out. This guy's name? Sue Sugu? Prominent players? Yoshi. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Not familiar with that guy. Hunter Pence. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, yeah, as I was telling people about the... Uh, the missing auto card, you know, had it been an auto, I would just would have flipped out, you know. But since it wasn't, I've never encountered that before. Just kind of went, uh, what? You know, and, <laughs> and here's a uh, refractor of a Cabrera of some kind. <laughs> uh, there's uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, 70s, CC Sabathia. Here's another Mike Trout. Let's see, what's the number on that? 119. So, of the Trouts I've gotten, I've gotten like three different numbers so far, so may not be any variation there, but I'll look through everything. Glad to say. <clears throat> Always a safe bet on some of these to make sure Robert Stevenson, uh, no idea where he's. Wound up. Reds are really banged up right now. Uh, there's Bo Bichette. We got Wadolo out for at least two starts with a blister on his throwing hand. Um, we've got Hunter Green. There's a, a Bo Bichette rookie card there. Um, Hunter Green, who has gotten physically ill, <laughs> has passed two times on the mound. So, might play it safe and let him just write out whatever he's got going on. Rather than trying to get him to play through it. Um, 
called Ashcraft back up today and the Reds lost so lots lots of holes in the lineup unfortunately at this point and starting the show is a sweet Jackie Robinson card I recently turned Jackie Robinson's jersey number of years old on Sunday the big 4-2 as a Reds player I don't ever remember seeing the light of day There's Ken Griffey Jr. All Star Game. <clears throat> yeah, the Reds need to <clears throat> make some moves. I believe they keep just trying to band aid what they've got, and they know they need to sign an arm, and they know they need to sign a big bat, and they just kind of been acting like that uh, you know they can mandate their way out of their their issues there's a Joe Morgan 85 tops sweet card Joe Morgan one of the best ever to play the game second base big red machine turned announcer after would reunite with his big red machine teammate Pete Rose on the Phillies in that 1980 lineup and they would go on to win the World Series again see if you would have just kept those two together on the Reds still uh, probably would have gotten them a third championship in 80 instead of the Phillies there's Cal I think I've gotten like two of those already I think there's a huge hit as far as uh, rookies go. I don't think 2020 was a huge rookie year or anything like that. To apologize if uh, you haven't been able to see the, the cards too well as I'm doing this. I kind of drifted out here. Moose. There's a Gary Carter as a back-to-back. -back. Gary Carter like a uh, chrome version. And a Mark Grace. Lever Torres. Edwin Encarnacion, old Triple E. Well, so after we got we got rid of him, then he just went on to actually have a good back half of his career. Oh, the, to the Todd father didn't know he played for the Rangers. Never forget the. 2015 home run derby. Local boy Todd Frazier wins the derby in front of his home crowd, which was just there he is. Speak of the devil. Look at that. They knew I was talking about him. A throwback to to that. Uh, I don't know if that's a short print or what. Let me see. Nope, different card. But yeah, as I'm talking about it, <laughs> I pull that card. Uh, you know, winning in front of his hometown crowd. 39 total home runs. Everybody was pumped. I think that was like the last year or so I was paying any kind of attention to, to baseball. Uh, decade's best, Mike Trout, so we'll insert there. Trout seems to be uh, taking the place of Vladdy Jr. anymore for, uh, you know, making cameos. I saw Roldis Chapman pitch tonight versus the uh, Reds, who he's now on Pittsburgh. And he was throwing about 102. And, uh, of course, his fastest clock pitch ever, I believe, was 105.5. And, and that was that great American 
but earlier this year he has reportedly thrown 104, which is the fastest pitch of the season so far. So he still got it. Um, he was looking pretty sharp tonight, or earlier this afternoon, I should say. He uh, struggled with control quite a bit when he first came up. I mean, you know, he was a flamethrower, but kind of all over the strike zone, around it. So it was good to see him finding control, you know. There's Votto. Uh, Votto, I can't remember what he did last, but uh, I think he's just kind of quietly winding down there at Toronto or uh, a minor league team. Just kind of maybe being a, a, a dugout presence or something like that. Shame he didn't stick around with uh, Chris Van Canacion Strand getting hurt. He would have <laughs> got a significant amount of playing time. And who knows, maybe we would have won a few more games with his bat in the lineup. Reds right now just can't get a... Well, they can get a hit. What they can't do is be consistent. There's McCutcheon, you know, back in 2020, left a couple of years, came back. Saw him in that lineup. Leading off, too, at 38 now, McCutcheon. Old man McCutcheon, as I call him. All-Star game, of course. There's another Votto to All-Star game. And here we go. Who holds? I hope I got a short print on one of these. I don't know how many they actually, you know print up when they do that. And there's that uh, Yoshi Susugo, maybe? <laughs> Andy Pettit. <clears throat> and then we go to the player coin card. And we've got Francisco Lindor. Sorry, it was kind of hard to see where the name was, and then I realized it was on the... I was reading uh, the name, like, right here, which you can barely see until you get some light on it, rather than on the coin, which is a little more obvious. Some thick boys. And then we've got Matt Chapman. So, two of those thick guys. They were really <laughs> going all out that year. <clears throat> all right, here's our 84 Domerus. Uh, let's see. It'll be something if we got the Mattingly here. I'm going to go slow. <clears throat> Bob Horner. Never ripped an 84 Domerus pack. Definitely a great design. Phil Necro. Wade Boggs. So that's going to be probably our biggest pull. Chris Welch, the crafty left hander. Let's see here. Yeah, that's right. He came up with the Padres. I didn't know he was on the Expos, but. Uh, one of the long-time announcers for the Reds at Expo there at 84. So, um, as I said, Wade Boggs, our biggest hit there. 
I just watched the Sunny in Philadelphia episode, The Gang Beats Boggs, yesterday, where they're on the airplane and they're trying to drink uh, however many beers they thought he drank in a day and <laughs> eat fried chicken. And then they had to go out and go like four for five or something, you know. <laughs> It was a fun episode. But uh, Boggs himself made a cameo as himself at one point. All right. <clears throat> so, um, unless I got a short print that I just, you know, wasn't aware of that I need to look into, nothing too earth-shattering. If I do find that uh, I've got something epic there, I will go through and do a little update at the end of the video like I did uh, with the... Um, CJ Stroud and uh, we'll keep you up to date on that one and uh, thank you all for subscribing I just hit my uh, 50th subscriber which uh, you know may not sound big to some people but uh, it means a lot to me um, I enjoy doing these videos for all you guys I appreciate your support and your comments and uh, I'd like to keep on doing these uh, as, as much as I can uh, have a good rest of your Wednesday everybody I'll be back on Saturday with, uh, I don't know what. <laughs> Good night.